Hi, my name is Jenny with HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how to replace the complete clutch set on a Ford Ranger, two-wheel drive pickup trucks built between the years of 1993 and 2005. The truck we use for this video is equipped with a 3.0 liter V6 engine and is equipped with a 5-speed manual transmission. To be able to perform this job, the truck will need to be raised off the ground. Lift the front and rear side of the truck one at a time and place jack stands under the rear axle and the front of the frame. Disconnect the negative battery cable for safety. Locate the transmission oil drain plug located at the bottom of the transmission shown in the image. And drain the oil into a clean drain pan. Once the oil is done draining, install the drain plug back on. Remove the four screws that fasten the shifter boot to the floorboard. Remove the four screws that fasten the metal bracket down. Use a Torx bit and a quarter inch wrench as shown in the image to remove the three screws that fasten the shifter retaining plate to the transmission and remove the shifter. Cover the shifter cavity with a clean towel to avoid dropping dirt inside the transmission. Disconnect the hydraulic clutch line using a Ford hydraulic quick disconnect tool available in the tool section of our online store. Remove the four bolts that fasten the drive line to the rear differential and remove the drive line. Disconnect the starter wires and remove the starter. Disconnect the backup light electrical connector shown in the image. Disconnect both oxygen sensor electrical connections. Remove the exhaust flange bolts on both sides. Remove the small dust shield to transmission bolts. Loosen but don't remove the two inner lower engine to transmission bolts. Remove the two transmission mounts to the cross member nuts. Remove the bolt that fastens the exhaust bracket to the transmission mount. Place a floor jack under the transmission and remove the cross member. Remove all the bolts that go from the transmission bell housing to the engine. Have an assistant operate the floor jack as you hold the transmission steady. Remove the last two bolts that go from the engine to the bell housing. Slowly separate the transmission from the engine using a pry bar. Push the floor jack and transmission away from the engine. Once the transmission input shaft is cleared the clutch pressure plate, have your assistant lower the floor jack all the way and slide the transmission out from under the truck. Remove all the pressure plate to flywheel bolts and remove the clutch disc and pressure plate at the same time. Remove the clutch release bearing snap ring using a pick. Note if you notice any fluid leaks around the clutch slave cylinder, replace the entire unit. Next, remove the clutch release bearing. Swap the spring from the old clutch release bearing to the new one. Apply a light coat of high temp grease to the inner part of the release bearing and install it on the clutch slave cylinder followed by the snap ring. Lubricate the splines of the transmission input shaft with a very light coat of high temp grease. Make sure you wipe the excess otherwise the grease will reach the clutch disc and it would cause the disc to slip causing premature failure. Remove all except two flywheel bolts. You will need to hold the flywheel with a pry bar, leveraging against the teeth as you loosen the bolts. Remove the old pilot bearing using a pilot bearing puller, available in the tool section of our online store. Once the pilot bearing has been removed, remove the remaining two flywheel bolts and remove the flywheel. Take it to your local machine shop to have it surfaced or install a new one if necessary. Install the new pilot bearing using a socket and a hammer. Install the flywheel back on the engine, tightening the bolts in two steps in a crisscross pattern. The first stage tighten the flywheel bolts to 35 foot-pounds, and the second stage to 54 to 64 foot-pounds on a 3.0 liter engine. Clean the flywheel with brake cleaner. Use the alignment tool to hold the clutch disc in place. Take note that the flat side of the clutch faces the flywheel and the side that has the spring sticking out faces the pressure plate. Clean the pressure plate with brake cleaner and install it on the engine. Tighten the bolts on several steps in a crisscross pattern avoiding warping the new pressure plate. 
The final torque is 24 foot-pounds. If you purchase a self-adjusting clutch, follow the steps listed on the link provided on the video description to set the initial pressure setting. Once the clutch has been installed, install the transmission back on and the remaining components in the reverse order they were removed. Fill the transmission with new Mercon transmission fluid through the plug located on its side. Lower the truck to the ground, connect the battery cable back on and take the truck for a test drive. Don't forget to visit the tool section in our online store. We have all the tools necessary to perform this job. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.